Yeah, what is up, Rebels? It is Chunky Monkey Forty here with another GTA 5 video here on the channel today. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna cut through the fences because Uncle Jesse ain't here right now. But if he was, he'd probably be pretty mad. Anyways, guys, we are here with the General Lee that has been used in uh, all my Dukes of Hazard episodes. And for those of you guys who haven't seen my Dukes of Hazard episodes, I will add a link to the full Dukes of Hazard tribute series playlist at the very top of the description. And yes, disclaimer, I already know that the Rebel flag is not on the General Lee in my series. I understand. It has been brought to my attention many, many times. And not only that, I made it. I understand that the rebel or confederate flag, whatever you want to call it for this, I'm just calling it whatever, whatever comes to mind. I understand it's not there, but as you can see right here, we are choosing the most similar flag to the confederate battle flag, which is on the top of the general elite. And I will explain why I chose this flag in the video, but first be sure to leave a like and also subscribe. Anyways, guys, let's get into customizing the general elite. Okay, so your first order of business is to open up your phone in GTA 5 and then you go to Southern San Andreas Super Autos. You go down and then you purchase the Imponte Dukes. The Imponte Dukes is based off of the 1969 Dodge Charger RT, but due to copyright reasons, Rockstar cannot use that name. So you would go and then you would purchase it in any color that you would choose. For the sake of this one, I already have one, so I will not be purchasing it, even though it's free. So you don't have to pay for that, which is pretty cool. This is a little bit of an insight on the inside of the car and stuff like that then after you fuel it up and you get yourself a big old monkey cigar you get into your car and then you simply leave the route 68 store and then you head right next door behind it to the Los Santos customs now for the sake of this video I am just doing this for a little bit of a storyline but I assure you that you can use any Los Santos customs in GTA so if you want to now you don't have to do these parts but if you want to upgrade the armor, I would say do it so that you don't beat it all up all the way and then have to keep replacing it. Race brakes as well. And then, you know, bumpers. The front bumper, you keep stock. And then same with the rear bumper, you also keep stock. And then, oh, I already have the license plate on there. So I will explain how to do the license plate in just a minute when we get there. Same with the engine. You don't have to do this, but I like to upgrade it just because why not? You know, and then dual exhaust, that's something you don't have to do. It doesn't really matter, but do not do the side exhaust because the General Lee did not have that and one thing I do really like about the Imponte Dukes in GTA 5 is that it has that little chrome line which I will show you in just a second and you don't want explosives by the way in your car the hood you keep stock because none of these were the General Lee's hood so you just keep it stock because it's as close as we can get it this car cannot be exact due to the fact that this is a video game and not real life and it's also not a 69 Dodge Charger it is just based off of a 69 Dodge Charger and slightly altered the horn, um, if you want to be exact and like, you know, as, as close as you can be, you would get the musical horn one, which is the Dixie horn. I will play that right now. So I got musical horn one because it sounds close to the Dixie horn, but it's not exact because once again, they cannot use the Dixie horn due to copyright reasons. Lights, you do not have to upgrade the headlights. I didn't because it looks better with the stock lights due to the fact that it is a classic car. This doesn't matter. You can do these if you want the LED lights. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can feel free to. I'm not gonna because I don't want to pay for those. Neon lights, you don't want those. Of course, you definitely want full coverage on this car, loss and theft protection. Um, and then for the plate, now to explain how to do the plate, which I should probably, well, I guess that's as close as we can get it to the way it was in the show, correct? Yes, that is just about as close as we can get it to the one that was in the show. So what you do is you download the Rockstar Social Club app. So what you do to get the customized CNH320, which is of course the uh, the General Lee's license plate. Me, I have three different custom license plates. And what you do is you download the Rockstar Social Club app, and then you go onto this app, and then for 100,000 GTA 5 dollars, you can make your own license plate. You can just watch any other YouTube video on it. I will link one down below in the description on how to get a custom license plate, because I do not feel like explaining it because that would just take way too long and that could be a whole separate video in and of itself so i'm not going to explain that for the sake of the length of this video and then you respray now this is a very very tricky part you want to go to primary colors and then you want to get a metallic color because they look better for the best color of orange that you can get you go all the way down to the sunrise orange i've just passed it and seasonal 
It's got that like white glare to it. You could sort of see right over there. I'll zoom in on it. And you don't want that. So what you do is you make the pearlescent black so it goes away. It gives it that purest color of the generally orange. So then after you got your sunrise orange, then after that you go to your secondary colors. Now if you have it unlocked, which I highly recommend you have it unlocked because you know, who doesn't want chrome on their cars, you know what I'm saying? And so you put the chrome on the General Lee because it'll give you the trim and then that line underneath, which I just zoomed in on your screen between the two wheels at the very bottom of the car, that line is actually kind of cool because the original General Lee, Lee 1, that had that little chrome line underneath. So it's kind of cool that Rockstar Games included that in GTA. Five. It's kind of neat in my opinion. And then for the crew emblem, this is another tricky part which involves a separate step. You have to go online to the Rockstar Social Club website and then you could join a crew. Me, I am in the General Lee 1979 crew and you can get the logo. You just search up like Dukes of Hazzard, General Lee, Duke, you know, Zero One, anything you could think of. And I will link a video to that as well on how to get the 01 or at least join a crew in GTA 5, which I'm sure you get like the, the game's five years old. If you haven't figured out how to join a crew chances are you need some catching up to do <laughs> and then for the roll cage you got to have a roll cage and then it'll also give you a little bit of a chassis upgrade but you don't want to do the stunt cage because the stunt cage puts that little ugly thing at the back on it and you don't want that so you just get the roll cage and chassis upgrade and then it gives you the roll cage on the inside and then for the roof this is another tricky part so I've seen a lot of different people using a lot of different things. Some people use the American flag. Some people use the British flag. Some people even use the Scottish flag. But me, I use the Norwegian flag. The Norwegian flag looks the best. It looks most like the Confederate flag because it has the blue, the big blue stripes in the middle, and then that's got the white border, and then it's got the red background. It doesn't look as much of an eyesore, and it's also not the American flag. And considering the fact that I already had motorized Civil War planned out, it didn't make sense to have the American flag on both cars when they are technically fighting against each other. So that is why I chose the Norwegian flag. And in the end of the day, it just, in, in my opinion, and I believe this very, very strongly, the Norwegian flag looks a lot more like the rebel Confederate flag, whatever you want to call it. It looks more like the Confederate flag than any other flag in the game that is available. I mean, like, none of these look like the confederate flag they have the, the x yes but they don't have the you know they don't have the color and that the colors is what matters because if the colors don't go good then it's just gonna look like an eyesore up there and i think that that blends in very well and then we also because of the fact that this once again is a video game well you don't want to do spoiler but because of the fact that this is a video game we can't get it exact so no i cannot get the generally text on each side of the flag if i could i definitely would be that suspension i would not lower it because the generally is an offer car and you want to be able to take that sucker off road you know what i'm saying transmission once again you don't have to upgrade it but you know you can if you want to i did turbo i put a turbo in it just because i want the general lee to be as fast as possible so i recommend you put the turbo in it but if you can't it's okay wheels now this is another important part the general lee had some very basic wheels so what you do is you go to muscle and then you go here and then you just basically look for, I think it was the mercenary, right? Yep, there we go, there's the mercenary. And then you keep it the stock color because it didn't have chrome or anything. It was just that plain looking color even in the TV show. So you don't really wanna customize the wheels too much because that's how they looked in the TV show. Anyways, the tire design, of course you want to put custom tires because the generally is a race car. So you definitely wanna put the custom tires. And then tire smoke, you don't have to do this, but I did brown tire smoke just because of the fact that generally is an off-road vehicle, it's dirty. It's getting in the dirt and it just enhances for the videos. It enhances the dirt look in the game with the tire smoke. Wheelie bar, you don't even want that. Windows tinted, ah, you can. You can do it. You know, Kid Rock did it. So, I mean, if you want to, you can. I, I don't recommend it if you're trying to make a video with it because with tinted windows, you can't do as much camera shots because as you can see, you can't really see my character inside of, through the window because it's you know, a limo tint window. So, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend you do it. But if you want to, feel free. You know, I ain't going to tell you how to make your general yours and then that is all that is all you need to do to build a general Lee in Grand Theft Auto 5 not very complicated just has a lot of steps and then you could be able to do whatever kind of Dukes of Hazard videos you want to do and oh 
<laughs> just don't crash it like I did. You know, eh, it doesn't matter. I'm rich. I got, what, $249,000 in GTA 5? Ah, rich enough. You know, it's like, what, 100 bucks to fix it. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope I was able to clear some things up about my own videos and, like, why I don't use the Confederate flag in my videos on for my Dukes of Hazard. I would if I could, guys. I, I swear to God, if I could, because I'm also on the Xbox One, so I can't mod it. And I'm also on the Xbox One, so no, I can't mod it into the game. People always ask me that, too. And, like, j just the questions that I get, oops, the questions that I get about that freaking flag, just, it bugs me. It's like, people can't be happy about it. It's like, there's people who hate it, and they're like, hey, why'd you use a Confederate flag? And then, you know, I don't use it, and they're like, where's the Confederate flag? You didn't use a Confederate flag. It's like, uh, can you just watch the video like I spent so much time making this freaking video you know and like I spent a year and a half on motorized civil war and then I also spent like a year on dukes at fault and then just to get a bunch of hate comments about there not being the right flag because rockstar games is too liberal to put it in their freaking game it's not my fault guys all right so Quit getting mad at me in the comments. I mean, I really just screw screw with people. I mean, like, I tell people, like, it's a video game. Don't be a Hillary in a group of Trumps. You know, stuff like that. Just to, just to trigger them. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you guys want me to do another tutorial on another car you guys would like me to build, maybe you want me to build the Batmobile, or maybe you want me to build, like, a Ghostbusters-looking car or something like that, you know? Let me know what you want me to build in GTA V. I could even build some stuff from Fast and Furious. I could build some stuff from any. TV show as long as the car is in GTA 5 let, you know send me send me some recommendations you know I'd even like to experiment with how to build like a mystery machine or something like that something wicked or the A-team van I might do the A-team van next I don't know let me know some stuff in the comments and with all that said and out of the way I am chunkymonkey 40 at youtube.com be sure to go and check out the Dukes of Hazard Tribute series. It'll be linked at the very top of the description alongside a video on how to get the custom license plate and also the 01 on the side of the car, like how to join a crew. Those two videos will be linked down below in the description. They are not my videos. And with all that said and out of the way, I am ChunkyMonkey40 at YouTube.com. Stay rebel, y'all. Man, it feels so good to be making videos again. I missed y'all. You know, I really, I really did. I really need to get back into making videos. In fact, I might actually record a crime causers after this. I don't know yet because my room's getting pretty hot. My laptop gets really hot when I record a video. So, um, yeah. Anyways, expect some more frequent uploads revolving around Dukes of Hazard. Peace, y'all. Just some good old boys. Never need no harm. It beats all you ever saw. Oh, my God.